Happy Valentine's Day. My name is Tia Carr and you're watching AU InView. We'll be covering important news about events and people within the AU community, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Ashley Kirkman. Tia and I will keep you updated on the latest news at Aurora University and around the community. Flowers, sappy cards, and chocolate are common things to give away on Valentine's Day. On the other hand, it is also a day that people celebrate as Single Awareness Day. Choosing to be anti-Valentine's Day is an easy choice. To help make Valentine's Day less depressing, here are some activities that you can do. Host an anti-Valentine's Day party. Invite all your friends who are not into the holiday and celebrate together. Pinterest is a great resource for some DIY decorations and ideas for throwing a great party. Take a workout class. Working out is great for your health. It helps reduce stress and anxiety. Take a nap. Whether it be a 10-minute nap or a 10-hour nap, you don't have to think about anything. Have a spa day. Schedule a massage, manicure, pedicure. Find something that makes you feel good and just do it. Last but not least, indulge in chocolate and junk food. Grab that pile of chocolate and ice cream and stuff your face. Happy anti-Valentine's Day. As a college student, it can be tough when your special someone deserves the world and all you can afford is a gumball. If you're anything like me and don't have a lot of money to spend, here are the top five things I would recommend you check out in light of Valentine's Day. Number one. Take a hike through Red Oak Nature Center. Number two, going to the Phillips Park Zoo. I mean, come on, lovebirds definitely belong in the zoo. Number three, classic movie and dinner date at home. Make your partner's favorite meal and bring out some candles and you'll be good to go. Number four, ice skating at the Fox Valley Park District. Hopefully the only falling that happens during your ice skating adventure is, is your partner falling head over heels in love with you. Number five, game night. Get your favorite childhood board game out, whether that be Monopoly, Jenga, or Sorry, and let the games begin. During the month of February, undergraduate students will have the opportunity to begin enrolling in the courses for the 2018-2019 academic year. Registration information is based on your credits completed as of the fall 2017 semester. The number of credits you have completed may be found on WebAdvisor within the program summary of your academic evaluation or at the end of your transcript. For more information, refer to the Krauss Center for Academic Advising at 630-844-6870. This Saturday the 17th is the second graduate school fair for undergraduate students majoring in computer science, biology, mathematics, and other STEM related programs. The the fair is at 8 a.m. in Perry Theater and is open to all students. Please dress business professional and enjoy your time connecting with eight other universities that will be attending. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Eva Serrano at E-S-E-R-R-A-N-O at aurora.edu. We'll be taking a short break, but stay tuned for our guest appearance on AU Indu in just a few moments. Welcome back to AU InView. Now is a special time where you get to meet a member of the AU community. Today we have Dr. Wicks with us, Chair of Department in Communication and Graphic Design. Dr. Wicks is here in the studio with us to share some of her favorites in the light of Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank really you for inviting it. me. Thank you. Of course. So to start off, what would you say is your favorite type of chocolate? Type of chocolate? All. Does that work? <laughs> um, my favorite brand is Graham's in Geneva. Uh, but I like dark chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate. All I like it all. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You can't, can't go wrong with chocolate. No, you cannot, <laughs> ever. So in light of Valentine's Day, what would you recommend people watch if they say, well, I just kind of want to kick back and relax and stay at home for the evening? Well, my favorite movie is Sleepless in Seattle. Um, it's kind of a romantic, it's more of a chick flick, but, um, but it's kind of based off an old movie and as you know I love old movies so my favorite is An Affair to Remember with Cary Grant and Deborah Carr so those are two romantic movies that anybody can sit and watch. Awesome. Yes. Thanks for those recommendations. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite type of flower? My favorite flower is a daisy. I know that's not very romantic or very Valentine's Day-ish but it's always been one of my favorites. It's just a happy flower. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It reminds me of summer so yeah. Those are beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite gift you've received or have given on Valentine's Day? 
Well, every year I give my children all a box of chocolates. Uh, they always get a heart box of chocolates, so when they wake up in the morning, they come downstairs and there's the candy sitting there. So I think that's the favorite gift I've ever given, and I've done it every year. I still do it today uh, to those that live at home, so I love doing that. Um, the favorite gift I've ever gotten is any Valentine they ever made when they were little, all the ones with crayons and pictures and so I keep all of those. So those are my favorites. Yeah, that's really special. I should tell my mom about the chocolate. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's a good deal. Yeah. Yes, for sure. So what advice do you have for someone who may not be in a relationship on Valentine's Day and how can they feel loved and accepted tonight? Well, I think um, it's always helpful to make somebody smile and I think if you can be kind and smile with someone, the rewards you get are amazing. So you're never alone, you're never by yourself, you just reach out to someone else and be kind and you get it back tenfold. So don't feel lonely if you don't have a date on Valentine's Day or think, oh my gosh, I haven't gotten a Valentine. Just start smiling at folks and give them a Valentine and, and it comes back. So, yeah. That's really good advice. And so what would you say is your overall thoughts about Valentine's Day? Well, it is a Hallmark holiday, but anytime you get a chance to recognize the people that you love or care about, someone you work with even, that means a lot to you, um, I think that's a good thing. And we should think about it on all days and not just Valentine's Day. So um, it kind of reminds us to stop for a moment and say, you know, what you feel about someone else. So in that regard, I really like it. Um, and people get a lot of flowers and, of course, the chocolate. We don't want to forget the chocolate. Uh, but any day that makes us th stop and think that we need to tell the ones we love that we love them is a really good thing to do. So, For sure. Well, thank like you it. so much for your your thoughts. And it's just really fun to just learn a little bit more about you as well. Oh, well, thank so, you so thank much. Thank you for being here, too. too. Thanks. <laughs> so thanks again for tuning, with, tuning in with Ashley and I. And we'll see you next time on AUNVO.